Hello, I'm John Bennett. I'm uh, with the Trinity River Authority of Texas. Today we're going to talk ultraviolet disinfection at the wastewater treatment plant in Alvarado, Texas. In an earlier clip, we saw the disinfection process using chlorine. This is a different style of process that is becoming very popular around the United States. It is ultraviolet disinfection where we're actually using natural ultraviolet light that we get from the sun. We're just intensifying it through bulbs to further disinfect the process. We've been through the treatment inside the wastewater treatment plant, and now we have the clear supernatant that comes from that process. That supernatant comes into a channel, and inside the channel, we have two banks of bulbs. In each bank, we have five racks and in each rack, we have five bulbs per rack. Now these bulbs are a long, thin, horizontal bulb like you often see inside of a mechanical shop for lighting. Except these bulbs can be very expensive. This particular unit, a Trojan UV 3000 Plus, uses a medium intensity light. And the way this process works, is that there's a certain amount of detention time that the water is exposed to this intense light. During that process, these microorganisms are essentially cooked from the inside out, and they're removing all the pathogens that are available. What you get is a water that's coming out of this process with very few disease-causing bacteria. A lot of times there's none whatsoever. These units are set up so the top side of these units are actually the cleaning station. And then the bulbs are inside of these racks. And you have wipers that wipe the bulbs periodically. About every two hours, a wiper goes back and forth down the bulb and it has a small amount of cleaning solution. This helps to keep the exterior of the bulb clean so that it can effectively discharge the proper amount of UV light. The main focus of this unit is to do what we call pathogenic reduction, kill off disease-causing bacteria. This is the bacteria that we do not want to go into our receiving streams. We want clean, clear, disinfected water to go into these streams. So there's a couple of tests that are very important. The first one is called a UVT, or ultraviolet transmissivity. And that test is to determine how clear your water is. So the clearer your water is, the less power that's actually required of your bulbs. And this can help save long term on the life of your bulbs. And the final test is the E. coli test. So in this test, we're actually capturing the water and we're testing for this disease causing or pathogenic bacteria. And what we're hoping to see is very little to none proving to us that our UV is actually operating as it should. 